In the past, we've had robot hands that were strong enough to crush a brick, but gentle enough to crush a butterfly. Now we have something better. Yeah, I said that on purpose. <laughs> yeah. Which is a robot hand that delivers a soft touch. This comes from Cornell University. Let's take a look. <laughs> <laughs> it's gently caressing the uh, tomatoes. The, the tomatoes. And we put three there so you wouldn't think it was anything weird. Caressing. Okay. Mm, no, no, it's, just, it's pretty much what you do at the market, right? <laughs> like, no, this one, no, ah, ah, yes. Clearly, that's the softest one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know if your audio was on over that, but... Um, <laughs> just, that's gently. what you do at the market, right? You're, you're caressing the, uh, uh, the, right, the tomatoes and pick the uh, That pick was the choosing the, the softest tomato. That could be applied to other things. So according to Seeker, the sensory process of these are that a stretchy optical waveguide containing LEDs are built right into the pneumatic fingers, allowing them to sense the surroundings. When the soft fingers mounted on the rigid palm flex, even a little tiny bit, that affects how much light goes into the device. Those changes are measured by a light detector or photodiode. The internal optical cords act kind of like nerves, so it's using I mean, to try and imitate the human experience of, um, you know, tactically measuring something, mm -hmm. it's instead of using touch sensor, it's more of a light sensor and yeah. a response. It is, and 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 uh, the the process by which so it's not a, really a grasper. Mm -hmm. It's just it's it's like having a little fingertip that tells you how soft something is, mm -hmm. and yeah, those and and having that optical waveguide, you can get very minute changes which i suppose is how they can they can measure the tomatoes for without ripeness looking, without grrr. squashing them right. <laughs> Into the tomatoes. it's very cool it's it's and you know soft robotics i think has come a long way because mm -hmm. normally when you think robotics it's either something that is uh, done with cnc out of materials like aluminum and steel but now there are so many newer materials available and uh, and 3D printing mm -hmm. is really huge. So. Well, they hope to use this technology to, um, again, we mentioned this earlier, take your jobs. Uh, for the short, short term, would be able to like sort foods that might be fragile, mm -hmm. like a tomato. Um, but in the long term, it might be possible to use this as prosthetics, which would be a lot more, I think it would be a very welcome addition to um, someone who might already have a prosthetic arm. Uh, we've seen many different ones before. Like there's one that they keep calling the, like the Jedi hand, where you would use your mind to tell it what to do. Mm -hmm. But there's, there's still a lot of way to go and to make it to recreate the experience of having a human hand, which is pr a very useful tool. Probably the most useful tool in human development uh, over the, the centuries and time. Yeah. There's um, no currently, you know, a lot of the the state of the art with those prosthetic hands is that there's no feedback. It's mm -hmm. one way only. And uh, either you have electrodes on your arm or some other means to control it, but it's really just uh, a one-way thing so, to try. So, yeah, there's no, like, uh, levels of, oh, this is soft, I won't crush it. Yeah. Or what have you. And so for that, to get that full experience would be amazing. I, uh, this could also help with um, certain, I mean, I remember before we, we've done stories about soft robots that were used for medical uh, assistance or for rescue, mm -hmm. for helping people, for, for like grabbing people and not like being terrifying and crushing them. Yeah. Um, there's, this has a lot of applications for robotics in the future and I, I am excited to see it. I hope it goes over well and I hope this research continues on and that we have Baymaxes one day. That's all <laughs> that I was getting at this whole time. Audience, oh, I don't know what to ask without it turning into masturbation. <laughs> <laughs> Audience, just, would you masturbate with <laughs> one of these in the future? Fine, end it that way. <laughs> Bye, subscribe. <laughs>